Now, before we go too deep into the mathematics of the Lorentz system, we should do some simulations. We should just check to see that what we think we have, we really have, especially in this domain after this hop bifurcation where it's not clear what's going on. So let's take a look. If we start off with an initial condition that's really close to that saddle point, then it follows along the unstable eigenspace. It gets ejected way out and it lands very close to one of the unstable spirals. It starts spiraling out. Everything looks normal. But after it leaves that local linear regime, it does something. It flips and it flips back and forth and it starts executing a really complex set of motions where it sort of switches between being controlled by the dynamics of one unstable spiral to being controlled by the dynamics of the other unstable spiral. Now, in the context of convection rolls, this corresponds to the rolls going two ways. You flip over one side, then you flip over the other. And what is amazing to contemplate is with what regularity is this flip happening? Just when you think you see it going back and forth and back and forth in some regular pattern, it does something different. It changes the way that it goes. Now, everything seems to be sort of focused on this two-dimensional or sort of two-dimensional attractor, the Lorentz attractor, where all the interesting dynamics is happening. We're just at the beginning of understanding this guy. But look, that was just one orbit. What happens if we take lots of initial conditions and let them move forward? Well, we already know that the dynamics is bounded, that everything is going to stay swirling around. But what happens? Well, what happens as we start integrating out for longer and longer times and keeping traces of these orbits is that we see that same sort of behavior. No matter what the initial condition is, you seem to get sucked onto this attractor, this Lorentz attractor, and you're moving back and forth. You're moving around in a very complicated fashion where for some time you're sort of stuck orbiting around one unstable spiral and then you flip over to the other side and are entrained by those dynamics for some period of time ever spiraling, ever going back and forth. That's the Lorentz attractor.